Grand Rising. All praises to the Most High. Barakata. Bahasham. Yahawah. All power. Collective. This is part two to yesterday. New moon and cancer. Read. The phone shut down my read, yo. Crazy shit, yo. But it's all good. We push on. We get through these blockages burning Palo Santo at this time. Heavy. I love my Palo Santo, so y'all gonna see the smoke. It is what it is. All praises to Papa for Palo Santo. All right, so the cards are still laid out. From yesterday, you got Neptune, Planet, come out of addictions, negative behavior. That is blocking you from your spiritual path. We got Aries, Asteroid, the Destroyer. It's very jealous, envy, precise over karmic retribution. All right, that's the energy on this. Hygieia from Hygiene. This talk this is the next asteroid that talks about um, mental health and the vessel hygiene, your hygiene, not taking care of your body. You don't take care of your body until your shit stop working. You know, they stress in mental health. Then Taurus, zodiac sign. Zodiac, you know, is the alignments of the stars and uh, the galaxy. So Taurus came in with um, overindulgence. Uh, Taurus, I'm sorry. I'm going to just recap on Taurus. I just looked over it. But it okay. Uh, Taurus. Possessiveness and overindulgence. And it reminds us that it's okay to crave comfort, to indulge every once in a while. Right? But don't overdo it. So... Yeah, that was Taurus. And the key words were security, grounded, beauty, art, stubborn, and strength. So Taurus is very stubborn. It's a very stubborn energy, you know. But you, you got strength, right? You like the ram, the cow, whatever. All right. And then Psyche. Psyche is feminine, the goddess energy. Asteroid tells about not giving a fuck what people say. And I'm going to get into Lilith. Lilith was saying to... When we start to stand up for ourselves, we are often faced with backlash. So somebody in the collective is standing firm for their, their belief, for how they feel, how they intu their intuition is leading them. And you're being told by your oppressors like, nah, you wrong, you should do this. They want to puppet string you. They want to be your puppet master, meaning they want to pull your strings in dictate how you supposed to live how you supposed to talk who you supposed to be with who you not supposed to be with type of shit so Lilith is telling you don't back down continue to push forward in fact have the capacity to downright destroy those motherfuckers those fucking demons the oppressors the fucking handlers because that's what they are handlers why they call handlers because they work for the devil who how, what do we mean by they work for the devil the devil they handlers to keep you suppressed oppressed right so little is telling you like fuck that push forward and if you gotta fucking destroy them destroy them call upon this powerful figure of call upon the strength of lilith she's a feminine she's a don't give a fuck feminine all right fuck all that negative shit we all got good and bad all right she was good before she went into darkness completely and stood there. All right? So she's telling you take her energy and say fuck those people and push the fuck forward. And that's what we do. All right? All right. So the cards are laid out. And, you know, the enchanted map I use as an oracle to start clarifying the astrology cards. Okay? Because you're on your soul journey, Neil. And you're waking up out this fucking matrix, Neil. Alright? It's all good. It's a lot of Neils out there. If you resonate, you resonate. If you don't, then it's not for you. Don't let the shoe fit. Was well, I'm also bringing in... Second set of Oracle, the Law of Attraction. Alright? And then I'm going to clarify my Oracle. I'm not using Starman this this read 
I'm using. Oh, fuck. I'm using this. Maras. And here we go. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I'm using this. Y'all can see. I'm going to look over my Palo Santo. Right? I'm clarifying oracles with this tarot. Okay, cool. So we're going to push on right now. Alright? So now I'm going to pull. Okay, so I know you're like, okay, what is she? Anyway. So I got my crystals out. Word. Protecting. So this is the type of incense I burn. I only burn incense from India. Lucky day. Come. Here we go. Come on, come on, zoning. You just did that shit, yo. Come on, camera. I'm looking at this shit. Anyway, come on, why are you not fucking clearing out? There we go. Oh, I figured out how to do it. <laughs> Yeah, straight from India, right? Right. So all I burn is incense from India. So what I'm working with, right? What I'm working with. What I'm working with. Oh my, I'm going hold that shit. All right, cool. Cool. We outside. Crystals. Amazonite. Pyrite. Yeah, right? Clear quartz. You know, I got my pyramid energy with the sigil. Clear quartz, black tourmaline. Amis. Amis. What is it? Amis. Uh, Amis. Uh, Amis. Well, yeah. Amnesty. Amnesty. I'm sorry. I just lost it. But yeah, I keep it raw. When they're not shiny, they're more potent. They're in their natural element, authentic element. I love this one. This is for good luck. Pyrite, right? It look like gold. Fool's gold, they call it, all right? Clear quartz is linked to Isis. My boy, my fingernail. I know somebody gonna see that shit. That shit just happened with the fucking Palo Santo, y'all. Charas. All right. Clear quartz. Yeah. Amazonite. Clear with stress. I love the green crystals, y'all. I have a, I have a set of them. But this one right now, I'm fucking with heavy. Heavy, right? And amethyst. This one is very natural in its element. I love my crystals. I was never into crystals, but yo, a journey, this, this soul journey I've been on, primarily this twin flame journey, has opened my eyes to a whole different realm of life. I never knew of spirituality. I am grateful to have ascended to be able to be, in this lifetime, a twin of my twin. It has showed me compassion, endurance, <laughs> patience beyond, strength beyond, mental strength, and physical fucking strength, yo. Heavy emphasis on the mental strength. It taught me how to love myself, how to completely, entirely love myself in knowing thyself. For myself and how did I achieve this oneness with source oneness with the most high that was the only way is when I went into oneness with Papa the first set of team he sent to me was the Archangels Michael Michael came in heavy and they made it known they was coming in heavy yo 
I was going through shit. Like, let me know. Yeah, we talking and you know you're not going to ignore this. No, the time is now. You see, divine timing is divine time. When Papa is ready for you to do something, fuck everything else you was doing. You're going to align to his purpose. You understand me? You're going to hear his messages. He's going to emphasize. Yo, he's going to put it on you. So, send the angels. And then he's going to send your ancestors. I didn't meet my ancestors until last year, August. I don't, I don't pray to my ancestors. I talk to them and I ask permission. Yo, I don't, I don't have this misconstrued. All right? There's no confusion in this shit with me. I go to the Most High for permission to talk to the angels. I go to the Most High for permission to talk to my ancestors. I ask for permission. I don't take it upon my fucking self to start praying to other deities or things without getting permission to talk to them from source. So why the fuck y'all praying to a man called Jesus Christ to talk to the Most High, huh? Yeah, I'm going back on that shit. Y'all need, need to wake the fuck up. And the people that's telling y'all to do this shit, the pastors, the priests, they're motherfucking liars. They're keeping you trapped in the matrix because they took that, what's that shit, that 504 deal? What's that tax write-off that these churches take with the government to keep y'all locked the fuck in? And I'm not even going to get into it like that because, like, this is a collective reading. But y'all need to wake the fuck up. I'm going to pop a, a different channel that I can risk. That if they want to close that shit down, they can fucking close it down. But this one, I'm going to keep safe. All praises to the most high. Right? Right. So we're going to get into it right now, collective. I was supposed to do this shit last night with my twilight. But, you know, the devil is fucking busy. But it's all good. I'm going to keep pushing. Y'all can't fucking stop me from putting the messages out. Y'all can keep casting your evil eye spells and all your conflict spells and your... What is it? Conflict and chaos and havoc spells. You wicked demon motherfuckers that sit up in the fucking church today like y'all so fucking holy. Y'all wicked motherfuckers, yo. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers I'm talking to. I don't give a fuck. It is what the fuck it is. Yeah, I got a mouth like a sailor. I'm an angel, an archangel, and I talk my shit. Because it's the truth. Now, fuck y'all demon motherfuckers. That's how I feel right now. I don't give a fuck. Get this in. I'm in my element right now. Shielded. Highly shielded. Straight like that. Like my palo santo and that mega bon me. Then we could pull Kiar. Alright. Our praises to the most high. Brakata Bahashan Yahua. Oh, power, gratitude, gratitude. Tora, 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 papa, sala, papa. Oh, praise the Most High. What is it you want to tell the collective in terms of, um... I just love my palace. Yeah, I inhale Palo Santo. The fuck? That's how we balance over here. Fuck. I don't got to smoke weed. No. I inhale Palo Santo. This shit is a balancer. This is old shaman technique. Yeah. I am a Native American. Arawak shaman. Ancestor in my bloodline heavy. I love Palo Santo like cook food. You hear me? I inhale Palo Santo for balance. Energy. You understand me? There's many tools I have to fight this fucking war. With who? The demons. Who are the demons? The draconian. The bloodline descendants of the draconian fucking reptilians on this fucking earth. That's what I'm saying. Now. Alright? As we push on. 
abortion. So, sorry. Y'all want to um, fast forward a little bit? But, yeah, I'm shuffling and all that shit. And I used to shuffle cards from since I'm a little girl. I was always into cards, yo. I knew there was something more to it. I just didn't I just didn't know how to get to it. To that knowledge. But once the internet came on, the world wide web. The knowledge was just there in abundance to be found, yo. Just a click away. To an awakening of truth. Our oh, praises, Papa. Split the deck, them say. For split the deck this way. Yay. All right. Yeah, I'm missing. <laughs> All this shit came in. Look, I used to say, but this whole twin flame journey really emphasized me into my gifts, yo. Like, real shit. Real shit. All praises. Everything is a blessing, yo. Even the bitter. Gratitude, Papa. What do you want to put on Neptune from the Arakawa? Much gratitude. I love to hear the birds. All right, let's go, honey. Ooh, 24-6. Stuck in the mud. Ooh. Stuck in the mud. On the Neptune. It's a crescent moon in the back. Hmm. There's an old wise one that's stagnant. You got a bird in the back of you. Is that your guide? That's telling you what's behind you to keep going forward? Hmm. You stuck. Can't wait to read what the book have to say. But they're saying you stuck. Stuck in the mud under Neptune. Much gratitude, Ava. What do you want to put on the asteroid destroyer? Eris. Jealousy. Jealousy. Envy. Eris. That's that energy. What do you want? What oracle you want? Like the collective to know at this time, my father. With much respect and gratitude, Rapa. Gratitude, Papa. Ooh, what flipped? Goblins. Woo! Goblins. Do you see the goblins? I'm looking for goblins. Ooh, one, two. There's two goblins I see. Do you see the goblins I see, collective? One, two goblins. Two goblins lurking in the midst of the darkness of abundance. Hmm. Interesting, collective. Goblins. But what's goblins to a fucking goon? You heard? Okay, five, change, six, six to receive, ah, six is to receive, receiving spiritual knowledge from the universe, Aries, the destroyer, jealousy, is being represented by goblins, there's only a negative being would be jealous right i'm pulling on the sacral energy sacral chakra energy that's what the orange incense base is there for collective yeah this is gonna be interesting no interruption it's a fucking day they said my camera over was overheating so the camera <laughs> the phone shut down shut off the camera yeah, and said I had a cool on my phone type shit. Some real fuck shit. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> but 
the phone was so open to take calls in internet. I didn't get it. Yeah, I, I did get it. I knew exactly what the fuck was happening. I knew exactly what was happening. Trust me. I did. I do. Papa, message on Hygieia, the purifier astro um, asteroid with mental health, mental and um, the vessel hygiene at this time, Papa. Much gratitude. Much gratitude, Rabba. One on Hygieia. Much gratitude. Shuffle. So the twin flame, if I may say something about the twin flame journey. The feminine awakens first. The feminine awakens first with the most high. The feminine is the one that is very close to source, to the most high. She's awakened first. All right, into truth out of the matrix, and then she awakens the masculine with truth from out of the material, physical realm of the matrix. All right, so the feminine is angelic, and the masculine that's in the material, physical world is devil energy. That's the truth the light and the dark, duality. All right. All right, so the feminine knows that before divine masculine is truly divine with his wings, he's karmic. He has karmic tendencies, heavy toxicity into fucking devil energy, heavy fucking toxicity. Shit, he would even try to kill his own feminine to sacrifice her to who? To the devil because he's not awoken yet. All right, so that's why people that talk about twin flame should really have the rites of passage to talk about fucking twin flame because y'all could confuse this whole fucking journey. But then when I look back at behind the scenes, I'm like, all right, everything was in play for y'all to confuse the journey so that the actual twins, the divine feminine and the divine masculine could tap into intuition and heavy 